Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Damien's in the building! Yeah, hell yeah. What's up, dude? Let me really quick fix the camera on my end so people can see you a little bit better. But how are you, sir? Hey, I'm doing great. How about yourself? Fantastic. If you could, could you please properly introduce yourself for people that may not know you, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you'd like. I'm, doing doing that shit. I'm into I, this. I'm, <laughs> I'm Danius. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. And you can stream any of my music from anywhere. Um, my latest album was Danius Rough Cuts. That's where you can get the no bullshit. You just get the demo version. Let's go. Yeah. You know, you gotta Bro, get that I like rough you shit, already. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. You too. Danius, what's, we, your we... what's your favorite cartoon? Probably Kurt the Cowardly Dog. Really? What's Hell yeah. Adult cartoon. Um, adult cartoon probably South Park. Well Fair. done. I well, thought I'll, say Rick I'll cue up some South Park magical. trivia. I'll cue up some South Park trivia. Damus, uh, know, what my... what's a song that you would like us to start off with to play of yours to kind of introduce yourself to everybody? I would say Pray. That one seems to be that one's featuring another artist by the name of Loki. Oh yeah, we're familiar I with Loki. I feel that one's more. Is this your pitch to Smoke Out Records right now? Is this the song we're uh, we're demoing? Is this what you would present? There's, yes, there, that doesn't exist, right, by the way. Damius, Excellent. he's our one of our guests today. So this one's featuring Loki. It's called Pray. If you, have you have you always rocked the mask your your whole career, or were you were you an MC before that, and then this kind of became like your persona? Nope, I've rocked the mask the whole time. Hell yeah, give me yeah, hell yeah, yeah for that. Yeah. Stays true to character. Had to have the mask, man. Had to have the mask. I love I it. I was boring as shit without it. <laughs> so <laughs> with the mask, it's just like even better. It goes with the music. <laughs> who who are some artists that made you even wanna even wanna do uh like hip hop in general? Um, it was mostly Insane Clown Posse, Tech Nine, Twisted, um, Brother Lin Chung, you know, people like that. Like it was hip hop rap, but or dark like it was more dark side shit you know what i mean so it wasn't just like hey here's jewelry here's my bling here you know it wasn't, it wasn't like that which there's nothing wrong with that you know some of that shit's cool too but it was just i got introduced more to like the dark murder type shit that that just caught my eye because i love horror movies you know and i love death metal so it's oh, we're winning bg over what is your i, I know you know i'm gonna ask some horror movie questions as soon as you said that uh oh, what I got two questions. What is your favorite maximum gore horror movie? And then what movie actually scares you? The maximum gore. I mean, I wouldn't say if it's too, too, too gory, but I got to go with Saw. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just love the, the Saw films where the torture scenes, you know. It's my favorite horror franchise. I was going to say, that's Deji's yeah. favorite little dude right there, <laughs> Jigsaw. Really? Yep, yeah, like, Jigsaw, baby. He's just, he's you about to watch this show, bro. You're kissing ass. I actually, I have it. I would, <laughs> usually, I'll do my homework. I'll, I'll usually do my homework, but I'm like, you know what? I have a feeling I'm just going to go in raw with y'all. <laughs> no lube at all, and let's just see what happens. Yeah, baby. I like, I like it. I, I like it. Hell yeah. Uh, are you 420 friendly? I'm sorry? Are you 420 friendly? Um, I will eat it. <laughs> I don't really I'll know. I'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. I definitely do edibles. How so, many yeah. masks do you have? Um, I have about nine different masks, same colors. I mean, different colors, but same style. Who made them? Um, I actually don't know who the artist is. I know on one of the new ones that I'll be having, um, it was one of the guys that made the band Mushroom Head. He had actually created some of their masks. So he created one for me. So I'm looking That's forward awesome. to debuting that one soon. How did BG and I get a mask? <laughs> How do we get one of yours? You just send me y'all's information, and I will send one right to y'all. Let's go! Say what? Go. What? Give me a hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. You're you're our new favorite guest of all time for sure. Wall, dude. I'm gonna hell throw on I'm gonna throw on Killer Be Killed next. Can you talk about this particular record? Yeah, go for it. Uh, so, you want to talk about the four one three? 
for the actual song. I was going to play the one featuring Jamie, but how'd you link up with Jamie? I linked up with Jamie through another artist named Intrinsic. He actually, um, he reached out to me asking if I wanted to do a, a track with Jamie. I'm like, fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> you know, like, of course. I've been listening to Twisted for like, since 2000 i believe you know so i always thought like one day i'm gonna work with them one day i'm gonna work with them but you don't actually really believe you're gonna do it until you actually do it <laughs> and so when i was able to work with them, it was just you know i felt like a school girl was like oh my god you <laughs> type shit you know but it was actually pretty dope and i like the way it came out and hopefully everybody else does too if, if somebody <laughs> was wanted to hire you to get you on a verse uh when a verse from you on one of their tracks how would they go about it they can reach me at demiusmusic at gmail.com and we can just go for it from there. Let's go. Yeah! Killer Be Killed yeah, featuring Jamie Maddox, AK Twisted. <laughs> I just clicked a random one too. I, I, I like that one also, man. Well done. Well done. Lloyd, uh, did, did you have something that, another something that I cut you off on? I'm sorry. I, you didn't cut me off. I was going to ask something stupid and then I had a question and then I forgot while listening to that. So, uh, human error. I'll come back. Come back. To me, please. Dang, chat code in chat says Twisted is the one that actually put him on Damius. Wow, that is Ooh. awesome. Wow. That is You're awesome. Amazing. amazing, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Damius, what's one what's one more of, of yours that you'd like us to play? And then and then we'll do some fun stuff. Maybe you can review some artists with, with us. We'll do a little trivia. You said South Park, so I'll get some South Park trivia uh, ready to go in a little bit. But what's one other song you would prefer us to play? You know what? I'm going to go down a different path and I'm going to go with Twisted Love. Twisted Love! <laughs> yes. What's your favorite Mariah Carey song? <laughs> All I Want for Christmas. <laughs> wow! I did not see that coming. The question the or think of. the <laughs> answer. <laughs> Alright, Damius, let's test your South Park trivia. In South Park, a celebrity gives Cartman pink eye. What celebrity gives Cartman pink eye in South Park? Well, it's not Mr. Hanky, the Christmas boy. <laughs> you would Hanky. think it would be. It is not. The, damn, I don't remember who the celebrity is, but I remember Chef D, the like Michael Jackson thriller in that episode. But I cannot remember the fucking... The celebrity. Come on, guys, it's Christmas. Want to play with Pooh? Hey, I'm new here. <laughs> Chat, if you Hi. know who it is, let us know before. Uh, just get it before anybody else does, and you get the spin. Let's see uh, what uh, Damien thinks of Scream at the Sky. The Sky. Embers is correct. It was Scott Bayo. It was in the episode where uh, Ike was abducted by <laughs> aliens and Cartman kept farting fire. Scott Bayo. That's old South Park. I forget. Yeah, that's, guy. yeah. This goes to Mad Dog, by the way. Mad Dog, pick a character, and this goes to Embers for the correct answer. Okay, up job, next, God. we're gonna do uh, let's do Crash. Crash and the Crappiners. Were you ever a fan? Like were you ever a fan of Ska, Damius? I have actually never heard of him. No, like the genre Ska. Ska is a genre of music. I've never heard of it. Okay, we're gonna introduce Let's you to it right it. now. That's I true. love this. I love this. We're gonna... It's kind of like ska with like horns, like fun boppy style. Like, yeah, I'm moving my leg right now. It's like a catchy little, you know, it's a you catchy know, little song. jingle, right? Catchy little jingle. Catchy little jingle. Yeah, it is. It is. You're a catchy little jingle. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's so sweet. I'm gonna get another. I'm gonna give you some a redemption question. We're gonna find another South Park question to see if we can get it. We did play Vegas Bill already. Are these all okay? This is White Owl. Is that four yays? What do you guys think? I give it a yay. Hell yeah, he's on. White Owl to kill a mouse. All right, Damon. I'm gonna no. Don't kill a mouse. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna jump over oh, to your God. Spotify, but I had trouble finding it earlier. Just kidding, I found it right away. For some reason, it came right up this time. Just, I'll give your balls a just touch, bro. Just kidding, just <laughs> kidding. Uh, guys, if you could, please, if you're enjoying Damage's music as we play it, please, please hit the follow button, support him, that'd be awesome. So when you perform, are you in full attire as this, exactly like that? 
yes sir exactly like this that's amazing what what's what is like a let's say someone wasn't expecting for some reason to see you live have you ever gotten like a crazy weird comment after the show where like maybe you're signing autographs for fans or something in in full character like has there ever been like a weird unusual comment that you always kind of remember or stood out maybe it could be something positive or whatever comes to mind when i say that so far nothing like that but i do keep getting messages where people keep finding my music in restroom stalls <laughs> you know so they're like hey i found you all taking a shit you know i'm like i told you i'd promote you bro <laughs> hey i'm like all right i'll, I'll take that I mean, so like that's it's so it's playing so people are like in the bathroom somewhere music. <laughs> yeah so it's like all right cool you know bathroom that, writing whatever yeah so thing. Like, all right that's cool so you imagine that you're just in the bathroom and you're like uh, uh, you're holding up your phone with the Shazam. You're like, uh, get no, you doing on the side of the It's genius. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, we got time for one more track, Damus. Of course, a couple more questions. But what what was the last song you'd like us to play of yours? Anything in your entire catalog? What's your most emotional song, dude? <laughs> um, I don't know if I have an emotional song, unfortunately. <laughs> It'd probably be this man's emotionless. <laughs> yeah, it, it ain't nothing like that. It's just, um, see, so yeah. if anything, I'd say probably out of all of them, uh, y'all played Purge earlier, correct? Yeah, we did play Purge. We started with that one, yes. Okay, so then the next one, I'd probably say Unleash the Demon. I'll go with the old, old, old school. Unleash the Demon. So that would be this one? On 77, yes, sir. Here we go. Who primarily makes uh, most of your beats? I go through a different variety of them, but majority of them that for like the new albums that I've been doing, I've been working with um, the guy's name's Trunks. So like Trunks Beats, he's been doing some pretty amazing dark stuff. So the Dragon Ball Z name is that what, is that what it is? Trunks, that's Vegeta's son. <laughs> it's true. But then Trunks Trunks Beats. Or he just really likes swim trunks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the Dragon Ball Z version. In South Park. What was the name of Stan's dog? Fuck. I think it was Sparky. That is correct. Well done. Nice. <laughs> well done. I knew I knew we'd have some redemption. I knew we'd have some redemption for you. Light the sky, the Riddler. And sir, Damus, you have a golden ticket. So you, what that means is uh, you can put anybody you want into our next tournament of champions. What that is is like it's basically uh, thirty-two artists. We play one song from each one. They all battle. Uh, I play the one song, and it's like a bracket system. Fans vote for who they want to win each one. Would you like to put yourself in that tournament? I'll speak for him. Yes, he does. <laughs> you do. You it's a, it's it's a good look. It's a good look for you. Promote yourself, bro. Ain't this nobody else this, gonna do it for this you. vicariously I, removes you off, off of the wheel right here, though, for today. But it's okay. This is like it's like as if you had won this also. So, congratulations. Have you ever done a track that featured like a screamer or anything, or would you consider that for something down the road? Oh, I would definitely do that. Um, I would definitely have somebody work with somebody. I haven't done it yet. But I do plan on expanding more of like the the featured artists. So, you know, I'm really trying to go for some death metal artists. Um, you know, is there anybody you have in mind that you that you'd prefer that you want to reach out to like ahead of time? Chris Barnes from Old Cannibal Corp. Six Feet Under. I've always been a fan of his of his voice. Um, right. So I'm going to reach out to him to do something. You're going straight to the legends so. right at the gate. Oh fuck yeah! He's he was definitely like the one of the first ones that I would listen to. You know, I was like the first two bands that I would listen to were Deicide and Cannibal Corpse, like from death metal scene. And so I would love I would love to fucking work with you know, especially Corpse Grinder eventually. <laughs> you know, but definitely want Glenn Bennett. I actually at the end of the prey, I actually tried my best Glenn Bennett impersonation when you're in the background. Um, just a lot of respect for those guys, you know. They're just fucking amazing. So I already reached out to Chris Barnes. Hopefully, you know, one day we'll be able to actually do something. We're rooting for you. That'd be awesome. Uh, Lloyd, I appreciate do you have any uh, final questions for Damius Lloyd? 
I don't have any final questions. I have some statements, and they're two ones. You have really good energy. I like where your character is going. The music is on point, and it seems like you like to talk a little shit and keep the energy going. You have all the keys you need to make yourself successful, and I wouldn't change. I would just keep developing what you're doing, dude. That is my parting words. That is what I've gathered from our therapy session with us. I appreciate that. You know, while y'all are smoking out, I'll have edibles. You know, we can all do this together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, excellent. We, excellent. We smoke yeah. weed every day. And I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, please, please, please hit the subscribe button on his YouTube page. Hit the bell just like we have so you never miss anything when he uploads it. Damien, this is a pleasure. Thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out with us, giving a little bit of your time to us. Uh, we appreciate it, and we hope you get those those metal those metal features. That'd be awesome. But uh, don't be a stranger, man. You're welcome back anytime you like. Oh, I would love to come back for sure. So hell thank yeah. y'all. Appreciate it. Ladies Everybody and gentlemen, pre- Davis! Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah! <laughs>